Oh yeah, they did. And for us, everything kind of melted yeah. away. We had a little bit of leftover snow and some black ice this weekend, but yesterday we got up to 53. So a lot of that melted away. Now temperatures are still dropping as we speak. A cold front's moving through right now. So we did have some rain, some gusty winds through the overnight, but a lot of that is starting to calm down now. Rain is completely out of here. Live Doppler 13 radar is quiet at this point. We'll take a step out and kind of look at the bigger picture as this rain continues uh, to progress off to the east. We've got some of that colder, drier Arctic air moving in on the backside of this system. So all that rain is done might still squeeze out a stray snow flurry as the temperature drops near freezing this morning. But other than that, uh, we're going to be uh, precip free over the next several hours. In fact, let's go back a couple of hours here. This takes us all the way to uh, yesterday evening. We were near 50 degrees still at midnight. And then as the front came through, we dropped to 49 at 1 a.m down to 39 at 2 o'clock in the morning and then 3 a.m. around 34. So our temperature trend has been downward and that's where we're going to stay over the next several hours for your morning rush. 32 degrees at 6 a.m. and then into the low 30s through the 9 o'clock hour with that sky staying mostly cloudy. And even into the afternoon, we will hold steady in the low 30s here in Indy. 33, your high 34 in Greencastle and 36 in Columbus. So everybody across the board. Definitely a big time change from yesterday. Now the clouds, they're not going anywhere either. Either uh, here's the latest on future track. There's that stray flurry I mentioned in the northeastern part of the state. That's through this afternoon. But other than that, it's going to keep it mainly cloudy as the sky will gradually clear as we get into the evening. But of course, you know what that means when the sky clears overnight. That means it gets a little colder. So we're going to start our day tomorrow in the 20s with a little more sunshine, and that'll help us tack on a few degrees to our high Tuesday. We'll go 36. The big time change going to arrive on Wednesday. Here's that quiet start to our Tuesday, mostly sunny skies. There will be a slight chance that we see a stray flurry, especially the northern tier of the state. It's into our Tuesday evening, but check this out. Wednesday, temperatures will rapidly warm as a warm front comes in. By the time we get into our Wednesday afternoon, a few stray showers possible. Rain going to be likely as we get into Wednesday night. And then as that colder air moves in, a brief wintry mix as we wake up early on New Year's Eve morning. We'll get a little bit of a break from this before the rain pushes back in. This is right here at midnight as we ring in 2021. Rain showers change over to a brief wintry mix. And then eventually, as the temperature warms on New Year's Day, we're back into an all rain event. So again, as we ring in the new year right there at midnight, we'll be at 32 with some scattered rain showers and a brief wintry mix. We're back up to 46 for New Year's Day this year. So of course, it looks like it's going to be all rain at that point. Heading into next weekend, a touch cooler with daytime highs back in the upper 30s.